Well, you're definitely thriving being single. You know, you're healthy, you're more focused at work, you know what you're doing now. You know, this is the sense of like being mature. That's who you are now. You're coming into a, you know, the point in your life, Scorpio, where um, like you value your time, you value your energy. Um, and it's not about like, ooh, partnership. It's more of like, well, I like myself. And there's peace, there's balance. Um, you're learning how to focus your energy, which is good. And it's serving you. It's uh, like in different ways. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of um, like you're more about your health, your money, your independence, your security, your like things that you invest in. From what I'm seeing here, it's it's like it's good to be single. This is what you're saying here. Like there's no disturbance. Like it's it's somewhat resemblance to a four of ones. Like you are um, feeling more stable and grounded. Now the nine of pentacles would want to share it and then be in a ten of pentacles, which means like at some point when the right person comes you're going to be in a relationship, which is good. So you're waiting for the right one. You're waiting for the person who will be there for you. Um, you're waiting for the person who's the the one that is also a nine of pentacles. Like, they're independent. They know their stuff. I'm not. It's not a fixer-upper. There you go. Nine of pentacles. Not a fixer-upper. Hmm. Okay, so you have projects that you're working on. You're working late night with the Eight of Pentacles. Or you could be working from home on a project. The Eight of Pentacles is... And then you go to the Nine. So it feels like it's it's a work day, go home. Or again, if you're working from home, it's more of like routine right now for you. There's nobody who's disturbing you with your peace. You have been more focused than ever. You're accomplishing things. You're, you're letting time actually, like, you know, like time will come and that's it. Like, I don't need to be with anyone. I don't sense the part where you're wanting or trying to connect with, um, with someone. No, it's not. Because the Eight of Pentacles is a corporate ladder, your career, your business. Again, it's really money focused right now with you. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is also like one at a time. So you're trying to build a career or a reputation and you're doing it step by step. So let's just say you're, you're an artist, so you're going to go to school, you're going to focus on this. Let's just say you are um, into business or finance. Um, you're going to learn the back end, you know, and how to do Amazon, how to do... Um, I don't know, like opening a retail store or an online store. It's business oriented or corporate related. So you just got into a new job. You know, it's like, okay, so I'm just going to work hard and then go home. It's like totally focusing on the money. Okay. And also your skill. So if you're a skilled worker, a chef, a esthetician, uh, you know, uh, a stylist, you know, like you're really just like, this is my skill and you're thriving in this skill. Okay. Hermit. Okay. You do find yourself alone sometimes. You do find yourself uh, like, because um, the hermit is the, the part where you isolate yourself from people and you're more closer to your creator which means you're doing your spiritual practices and having the hermit it's more of like spiritual growth also so during this time where you're not with anyone you have a more peaceful balanced life the hermit is a card of um wishing at some point because it goes to the mountain and say and then the star will be there and then the star card and then the the lover's card which is a gemini so this can be a virgo also so you're more of like well when the right time comes you know i'm always just praying for the right person to come but i'm in no rush the hermit does not rush um 
the star symbolizes here this is the Merkaba here and that's a symbol of like connecting with the source In the traditional tarot, the hermit has a golden staff, the golden one, and that shows wisdom. So you're you're more seasoned. You're a veteran, basically. Um, you know, so this is like a different kind of Scorpio where you know you're probably um, realized already and did some healing, and you're constantly doing those healing practices. So you're mature. Now, there are offers, Six of Wands, I mean, here and there, lots of people see you. You could be a celebrity with the Six of Wands. You know, people just want to get to know you. Um, you do attend um, gatherings. You're, you're popular, okay? You're favored by a boss or a superior here with the Six of Wands, or you're favored by the gods with the Six of Wands. Your accomplishments are being recognized by the public. The Six of Wands is also, um, this is a card of Leo, so the 10th the house for you is very important because that's, you know, for you it's Leo 10th house, which is being seen by the public. You know, it could be a, um, an influencer, actress, uh, model, you know, influencer, uh, Broadway, musician. So you thrive in this. Like, there's always people um, asking you and, you know, like, this is some sort of like pictures, you know, six of ones is big time. You're big time. There you go. You're big time with what you do. And people talk about like, how do you do it, Scorpio? How do you do it? Okay. But you're in a crossroads in your life, two of swords, which means now you're 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 in the part where. So what do I do? Like I have an I have accomplishments. I have done what I should. You know, like you know, I have, I've been good. Let's say that. All right. So Scorpio has been good. Okay. <laughs> um, so now what do I do? Okay, so and normally people are in the crossroads because it's settling down, getting married, finding the one, because you're 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 um what again? Self sufficient. Now during this full moon which we're gonna have also, um there's a moon over here. So you may come across, you know, in your life right now, it's like so what is next for me, right? That's the two of swords. Where does uh, this go? Well, I mean, like, you know, like, is it partnership? Is it just focusing on my career? You know, like, because you're doing good. So, you know what they say also, it's like, don't fix um, what is not broken. But you're always like that, though. You always go deep within and then trying to, like, figure things out in life. Because um, you're the natural eighth house, which is the subconscious. So there's always something behind your mind that you're learning and you're trying to understand about yourself. This is good, very transformative. Um, Queen of Cups, your intuition, okay. Um, maybe adopting a pet also here. I see there's two puppies. Um, with a Queen of Cups, it's more of like you're fulfilled emotionally, spiritually, and now you're just ready to fall in love. So that's, I feel like, the independence part is in the past years. And then now you're coming into maturity. You're more ready. You've experienced the good, the bad, and the ugly of relationships. You know? And now you're ready for the real deal for the Queen of Cups. So you have no strings attached to anyone. There's no X involved over here. With the Queen of Cups, it's more of like, I'm putting myself out there in the world. If there's someone that's connecting with me, I'm ready to fall in love with the Queen of Cups. Huh? These are the Queen of Cups. Okay. Oh, look at that. We love a good King of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like there is someone significant here who is mature also. King of Pentacles, entrepreneur. Um, again, you're ready for the same energy, same vibe as you are. You're self-sufficient. Um, this, this is a person who works hard for their money, can be a Capricorn. The King of Pentacles shows that there is a big progress on how you date or how you meet people, which means like you've changed the vibration and frequency that you'd have. So now you're stepping into the part where I am able to make healthy decisions and choices in my life because I've, I've done the worst. And then now I can see and I can identify what is good for me, which can be this King of Pentacles. 
The King of Pentacles presents himself as I'm ready to settle, they have their home, their apartment, they have a nice nice lifestyle. Okay, with the King of Pentacles. So you're meeting someone who's who's good for you. I like that with the King of Pentacles. Okay. But this is a long time search, Scorpio. Long time, you see? Seven of Pentacles. So you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. And same thing as your person with the Seven of Pentacles. I see them as they've been waiting for someone like you. So if in the song of Adele, okay, someone like you, okay. Because mm -hmm. normally um, the song for the Scorpio is the bodyguard, you know. Like, you'll die or hero comes along you know like that you're you like to sacrifice yourself now you realize it's like no i i, I want to be like you know shebangs you know ricky mart you want to be like i want to enjoy my life not dying for someone you know and here seven of pentacles i feel like the wait is over you know there's a very mature energy that we're picking up today we love that mm -hmm. you're patient Mm -hmm. And there's one that is basically like going after you. Knight of Cups to the Six of Wands. So someone is really like, hey Scorpio, hey Scorpio. That's I feel like that's the King of Cups. The King of Pentacles, sorry. So Knight of Cups can be a younger person, sweet, charming, good looking, you know. And someone has been always like messaging you, trying to um, talk to you and initiate a lot of things with a you know, like go out with you, you know. But again, you're in the crossroads. Like, okay, should I consider this person? So we're coming to that part. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Now, why you don't like this person? That's my question. So someone is persistently now going to chase you because you have a knight and you're in the Eight of Cups. It feels like you're dismissing the person, Eight of Cups. You're telling this person, it's like, well, I'm not sure. I'm not ready. Eight of Cups is emotionally recluse. So you waited long enough. They like you. They approach you. And then now you're saying, Eight of Cups, well, I'm not sure if I want to proceed. I'm not sure if I want to see you. I'm not sure if, what uh, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know what they did, but you're questioning their intention. So your, in your intuition, basically, with the Queen of Cups is telling you something. So you waited long enough for this person. They come now, and then you're going inside your head about this. I feel like with the Eight of Cups, there is some emotionally, like, in the past can be, like, you're tired of, like, falling in love. You're just like, I can't keep doing this. Like, I just can't. If I'm doing this, it's like, this better be the one. Because in Eight of Cups, like, I'm just tired of investing emotionally, falling in love, doing the same, you know, like going in the whole thing, dating and expressing and all these things. So for you, it's like, it's this emotionally exhausted, can be with a person or not with a person. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay. So it's more of, I'm not sure. You know, you're there. Like, I'm, I'm just not sure. I don't know. Eight of Cups, with the Two of Swords. I don't know if this is it. Maybe, maybe not, but you're in the part where you're definitely questioning yourself and the person and their intention. Okay, so let's dive deeper. I'm going to continue this link in the description box below for the extended reading. I'll see you guys there.